system. News that NASA announced on Friday. Talk to us about it. Yeah, so we named our headquarters building after Mary W. Jackson. And Mary W. Jackson is one of the hidden figures. Uh, and the hidden figures were uh, human computers, uh, mathematicians that worked at um, NASA's predecessor organization, NASA advise, uh, the National Advisory Committee on Aeronautics, NACA, and then worked uh, at NASA in the 1960s and 70s. Um, you know, many of them were um, black uh, female and as Mary W. Jackson um, was, and uh, they, their, we use their math skills, they use their math skills to um, essentially, you know, land the first men on the surface of the moon. Wow, that's incredible. Why do you think that they're considered hidden, hidden figures? Well, yeah, so they, their contributions have been, had, were hidden for decades. Um, and it wasn't until Margulies Shetterly um, did the research and interviewed four of them actually, and um, and wrote a book, Hidden Figures, and then the movie that um, every they be, they became unhidden, and uh, people recognized how crucial they were to the space program and the success of the space program. And actually, Christine Darden, who's one of the Dr. Christine Darden, who's one of the four hidden figures in the book. Um, was at the ceremony yesterday, the naming ceremony. I I, I spent a lot of my clear at, uh, career at NASA Langley Research Center, and I know Christine very well. So she she actually um, has a got a PhD in engineering and was a researcher, and she was the first um, black female senior executive um, at the agency. Uh, and uh, I knew Christine when she. Later in her career, she was a senior secretary, and we worked together. It was great seeing her at the ceremony yesterday. So, yeah, they they were their contributions were were kind of hidden for a while, but uh, now we know how crucial the these the human computers and these mathematicians were to su the success of the space program. Absolutely. So you mentioned how their contributions were kind of in the shadows, but now NASA is obviously doing their part to make sure that everyone knows of their contributions. And it is Black History Month. How important do you think it is for other women in STEM of color to see that representation? Yeah, so role models are really important. And, and um, you know, uh, Barry W. Jackson and Katherine Johnson and Christine Darden, you know, they were, they were were and are still role models um, for, um, you know, particularly women of color, um, because they see, hey, if a person who looks like me and grew up like me can do that, I can do that too. I can get, I go to school and get a degree in science, technology, engineering, and math. So I think that's crucial. We had Yolanda Shea, um, a current researcher at NASA Langley Research Center, um, was at the ceremony yesterday and talking how sh she was inspired to go into science by people like Mary W. Jackson and the hidden figures. And uh, and so she's she's what we call a modern figure, right? And so she she also wants to pay it forward and be a role model for, you know, young women coming up through, um, you know, through the K through 12 ranks and to inspire them to go into STEM, STEM fields. It definitely seems as though these women did more than pave the way, even all of these years later their contributions are being recognized. And you have worked for NASA for years yourself. What do you think is the most significant memory you have or the most significant thing you have of crossing paths with these women? Yeah, you know, I, it, it's, it's the, you know, it's the, pal the, the talent and dedication of them to the mission of the agency and to the nation and to serving the nation. I mean, they are, they, they inspire me um, by their just talent, dedication, and energy to the success of the organization and to what they do, and uh, and it, it 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 is it's the strength of any organization, including NASA, uh, the people, and the dedication they have to that, and to see um, a a, um, a more diverse group um, come together and do the amazing things that 
that we do is is really inspiring, and also that that diversity helps us um, solve some really challenging problems uh, in more effective ways. What do you think it is about the diversity that kind of makes everyone put their heads together? Yeah, it's just those different viewpoints, different ways of looking at a problem, different ways of uh, of uh, interacting and and throwing ideas out there and and seeing what might work. Um, so, you know. As a leader, a lot of my job is facilitating and listening and using the diversity of experience and talent of the of the organ of the organization to help, you know, move us forward and solve some of the challenges that we have in the future to do the very ambitious things we we want to we want to accomplish. Yes, as you mentioned, I think it's beneficial for probably every organization. Yeah, absolutely. It's not just for NASA. What we do is really challenging because aerospace is really hard and the systems are very complex and it only you got to really pay attention to detail. But um, yeah, any organization, this diversity of experience and viewpoints, if you if you lead it, if you lead effectively can really be powerful. Now, Steve, for the little girl who's maybe in middle school, who watched the headquarters naming after Mary Jackson and said, you know what, maybe I can be a part of something like that. What advice would you give her? Yeah, the, the, you know, the thing, the, the advice I would give her is, um, you know, it can, you're going to run into challenges, right? You know, math can be challenging and physics can be challenging and don't give up. Uh, just, keep, just, you know, keep moving forward um, because um, like Mary W. Jackson, you can succeed also. So you'll, you'll get frustrated and you'll get really mad at not being able to solve a problem, but just keep at it, get help and, uh, and, and persevere. And, uh, and you can be a scientist, engineer, or, or anything you want to be as long as you keep at it. Yeah. You're watching news now from Fox. Stay with us. We'll be right back.